Hey kids, Miss Butcher here, and welcome to Imaginary and Complex Numbers. Now, in our last video, we did discuss imaginary numbers, and we talked about how the square root of negative 1, just like you have in this picture here, is imaginary, and it equals i. And we also talked about how i squared equals negative 1. <clears throat> Sorry, doing that with my finger. Looks bad, huh? Okay, so that was imaginary numbers. Now we're going to talk about complex numbers. Complex numbers are numbers that include a real part and an imaginary part. And they are written in the form A plus BI, where A is the real part and BI is the imaginary part. Also, please keep in mind that the real part always comes first. That's important. Okay, here's some operations examples with imaginary, I mean, sorry, with complex numbers. Um, see this first one? Super easy. I shouldn't even waste my time going through it because there's a plus here. And all you have to do is combine like terms. But every single time I put this on a test, somebody foils this. And you know better than that. So we're just going to combine like terms. We're going to do the real part first. Negative 4 and negative 4 makes negative 8. And then we're going to add the imaginary parts. i plus i is 2i. It's that easy. All right, this next one, same setup. We've got subtraction. We've always got people who forget to distribute their minus sign. We're looking at 5 minus 3i minus negative is plus 1, and then minus i. So we combine our reals first. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then we combine our imaginaries. Negative 3i minus i is negative 4i. Down here, we have multiplication. Negative i times 5 plus 2i. So, of course, you're going to distribute. We're going to get negative 5i. And then we're going to get minus 2i squared. But don't leave it as i squared. Every time you see i squared, you have to think, I know what i squared is. i squared is negative 1. So cross it out and write negative 1. So now we have negative 5i, and then negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. And of course, since we always write this real plus imaginary, you're actually going to say 2 minus 5i as your final answer. So watch out for that. First, you have to know the i squared. Then you also have to remember the real plus imaginary. All right, and then this last one you actually will FOIL because there's an implied multiplication sign right there in between them. So we go first, negative 7 times 3 is negative 21, and outer, negative 7 times 2i is minus 14i, and inner, negative i times 3 is minus 3i, and last, negative i times positive 2i would be minus 2i squared. And so, remember, Take your i squared, cross it out, and write negative 1. So now I have negative 21. I'll go ahead and combine these, minus 17i. And then negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. So my real part is negative 19, and my imaginary part is minus 17i. When we want to divide complex numbers, we use the same... Um, process that we used when we were doing rationalizing denominators with complex denominators. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So in this case, the bottom's conjugate would be 1 plus 4i. And I'm going to do that to the top and the bottom. And now we have to FOIL the top and the bottom. So we've got 7 plus 28i. Oops. Um, plus 5i, plus 20i squared, all over. And then I have 1 plus 4i, minus 4i, and minus 16i squared. So then we clean it up a little bit. I'm just going to take this plus 20i squared, cross it out, and write minus 20 because I know the i squared is negative 1. And I'm going to take this minus 16 i squared, and I'm going to cross it out and write plus 16, because minus minus becomes plus. So I have 7 minus 20, which is negative 13. And then I have 28i and 5i, 
which is 33 I and then on the bottom these cancel out and I have 1 plus 16 is 17 so I'm going to put each of these over 17 and the reason I'm doing that is so that I can follow the rule that says real plus imaginary so I have negative 13 17 plus 33 over 17 I alright kids pause for a quick second I need to give you a code word this is good for both Miss Irwin's class and my class but do not go telling anybody what the code word is if either she or I hears this word coming out of your mouth before class or whenever you will not get what it is, whatever it is you're going to get for knowing this code word. All right, so your code word is something that is imaginary. Your code word is unicorn. And I was going to put a picture of a beautiful unicorn on here, but I, when I was Googling unicorn, this came up, and I just couldn't resist sharing this with y'all. All right, guys, um, here's a couple more examples I want to do with you guys because we can solve our equations like we did in the last video, um, and we can get imaginary and complex answers. So here we're solving um, this equation. We're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Once again, do not foil. A lot of you guys look at this and you go, oh, i got to foil it all out, but you don't. We're trying to get x, so we're trying to go in there, not make more x's. If we divide by negative 3, we get x plus 2 all squared equals negative 25. And then we have to take the square root of both sides, and we get plus or minus 5i, and then we're going to subtract 2. So it's going to be plus or minus 5i and then minus 2, but remember you always have to write it real plus imaginary. So put the real number first, and then the plus or minus, and then the imaginary part. All right, this next one. So now this time it's um, equals 0, so we've got one more step we have to do. We have to actually subtract the 24 first, and then divide by 2, and then take the square root, plus or minus, and we've done the square root of 12 several times now as examples. Square root of 12 is 2 root 3, with a negative would be 2i root 3, and then we have to add the 3. So since we know the real part has to come first, we put the 3 here, and then the plus or minus, and then 2i root 3. And that's the end of our video for today. Thanks, guys. Have a good night, and keep it real.